The UE Seismic Research Center has confirmed that the La Soufre volcano moved into an explosive phase of its eruption and is estimating that these phases of explosive eruptions are likely to continue for days and possibly weeks to come. One of the center's technical team on the island, a geologist Professor Richards Robertson, said once explosive eruptions have started, it is likely that others can occur, and he advised that the first one may not necessarily be the biggest. He also said areas to be affected by the fast-moving hot gas and volcanic material and surges are those communities identified as red and orange zones. The rest of the island in yellow and green zones may be impacted by ash depending on wind direction. The scientific team has cautioned that neighboring islands and regional aviation interests can also expect to be impacted by volcanic ash. The ash poses a significant threat to flight safety. Meanwhile, the government of Trinidad and Tobago stands ready to provide assistance. A statement from the Ministry of Foreign and Caricom Affairs said it is mindful that there are nationals of this country in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who may be affected. These nationals are urged to contact the Ministry of Foreign and Caricom Affairs to register their names, contact information and current status.